You can ask Andrew to hook me up. I guess I could ask. Work that pillow talk, girl. <laughs> what do you say? Um, I didn't ask him. What does that mean? This relationship is really important to me, and I want to protect that. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Molly and Issa, they're supposed to be best friends. But we all know how that ended last week. It was crazy, right? It was crazy. Now, we got some people, they defending Molly. They saying, look, she did what she had to do. She's not wrong. Issa, all she does is use people over and over again. And Molly pretty much just called her out on it. Then we got another crowd of people that's pretty much saying that Issa is in the right. She was real big on this block party and Molly should have understood in the first place. If she's supposed to be your best friend, why would Axton Andrew for a small little favor, especially as something as big as this block party, why would it be an issue for Molly to do? Is it jealousy? You know, what is the issue with Molly? So we got Molly versus Issa. What side are you on? We're going to talk about it today. So stay tuned. Oh, I connected in with Issa. You did? Nathan was the one who asked me to. All I did was send an email. Nathan? Okay. But you know we're not cool right now. Yeah, but I didn't think that you'd be mad that I helped your best friend. So it's quite obvious that Andrew didn't think it would be a big deal for him helping out Issa at all. Now we know Molly didn't want to do that because she believes that this relationship is serious and that, you know, she don't want to mess this up or jeopardize the relationship by getting Andrew involved with helping out Issa. Now this is what Molly was pretty much saying, but we know based off this conversation that maybe that wasn't the case. Hmm. Doesn't seem like that to me. Does Molly really want Issa to fail? I mean, Andrew doesn't think it's a big deal to help out with this little block party. So why are you so bitter about this? Let's continue. Nathan reached out about the block party and I needed help, so. But we had a conversation. I know, and I didn't involve you. Yeah, but you still got my man to do you a favor. Now, I do understand Molly's feelings. They did have a conversation and she said that she's not going to ask Andrew. She didn't want to do that. Now, even though they had that conversation and I can see where she's coming from, we're talking about Issa's block party, an event that she knew about for the longest and she knew how big this event was for her. So for Issa to go out of her own way and find another way to ask Andrew without using Molly, I don't really see anything wrong with that. But at the same time, I can see why Molly will be bitter and upset because it's Molly. You know what I'm saying? That's just how she is. Like I told you guys, it always seems like she doesn't want Issa to do better than her or do good. It's like she wants, you know, to be the person that helps Issa out or she just doesn't want Issa to do good at all without her help. You see what I'm saying? Like the whole condola thing. It was like, okay, Issa is doing good, but she's kicking it with condola. And, you know, once the whole condola and Lawrence thing came out, that was all the ammo that Molly needed to really start to express her real feelings about condola. You know what I'm saying? She used that as ammo. Like, well, why are you so cool with condola? She's talking to Lawrence and stuff like that. In reality... Molly didn't really give a damn about Condola in the first place. He was jealous of her from day one. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. And I think she did the same thing with this block party. She didn't want Issa to do good or whatever. She was mad because her and Issa got into it because Issa kept making jokes about Andrew and she was just upset. You know what I'm saying? They kept going back and forth, back and forth. So Molly decided to say, you know what? You know, you're not going to talk to my man at all, but in reality, Issa knew Andrew before you. She knew him through Nathan. You know what I'm saying? They are cool. So her going to Nathan is not a big issue. And it, if Molly understood how big this block party was, she shouldn't even be surprised that Issa will even do this. You see what I'm saying? Um, you guys know what happened next. These guys get into a huge argument, go back and forth, back and forth. The moral to the story is this. 
Yes, I do understand Molly's upset that Issa went behind her back, but she didn't really go behind her back, did she? Or did she actually pull a Molly on Molly by doing something dirty? My thing is this. If Molly knew how big this party was for Issa, what well, she should because she's supposed to be her best friend, she should understand that maybe asking Andrew herself would have been the best thing she could have possibly did. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, Molly, just ask him. It's not going to hurt anything. And I can go back and forth and showing you different clips um, on how this all played out. But you guys know, Andrew didn't think this was a problem at all. Th that's the reason why he was kind of talking to Molly earlier at the block party, talking about how maybe because Issa is so busy, busy with business, that causes, you know, hard relationships similar to how Andrew and Molly had issues with their relationship because of Molly was so busy with work so it's not that big of a deal to him he look at it as it's just business um him helping her out is nothing this is what he does anyway so it was never a big deal for him at all that's the crazy part man that's the crazy part um I'm, I'm team Issa on this one. I know she's not perfect, and I know she had to do what she had to do to make it happen, but at the end of the day, I cannot blame her for doing that. Yes, I wish it could have been better communication between the two, but can you really blame her, especially the way Molly came at her? Can you really blame her for doing that? You know what I'm saying? She watched her struggle getting this block party off, off the ground. You know what I'm saying? People did not believe in her. She didn't She didn't even believe in Issa for real. Lawrence didn't believe her at all as well. But she proved everybody wrong. And let's just say, you know, you are Team Molly. And that's cool. We all have our differences of opinion. And as I told you guys in past videos, if you have a big issue with Issa, Molly, you know how big this event is. Why don't you just wait until the event is over? And then you and Issa can go talk. Instead of confronting her at her event, um, especially an event that this is very important to Issa. So why would you even do that? That goes to show you right there, she is better in that she doesn't give a damn at the end of the day. You see what I'm saying? Like Molly, if you have a big issue with her, just talk to her after the event. You know what I'm saying? Be mature instead of being childish. But hey, it is what it is. We got Molly versus Issa. What side are you on? I can't wait to see how this all ends this season. It seems like the episode that's going to air tonight, Issa is just going to try to, you know, ease the pain and hang out with some new people and have fun. But at the end of the day, that conversation has to happen. They are going to eventually have to sit down and work things out. You guys let me know how do you see it playing out. And um, I will catch y'all at the recap. But um, it's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace. Okay, you need to figure out your shit and stop using people. You use Nathan, Andrew, me, who else? Guys, let's not do this here. See? You are so miserable.